In this video, we're going to show how to use proposal kits in the context of a wedding related proposal. Most commonly, this is going to be, say, a wedding planner or an event planner. Uh, it can also be used for anything in the wedding industry. So if you're selling products, uh, you're involved in catering, salons, a florist, travel planning, wedding photography or videography, location scouting, security. Uh, you could be seeking to fund a new business startup or expand your business and you need a business plan funding proposal. You could also use it to pitch a partnership proposal. So anything you can think of that's wedding related that you need to build a business document for, you can use this proposal kit. We'll start by showing you which packages are most commonly used. If you're on our website, proposalkit.com, and you go to our proposal and contact product page to our proposal packs, you see option number one is our proposal pack for any business. This is the most commonly used package and it's the one that's the most brandable. If you have your own company logo and a color scheme and you want to brand the look of the documents more specifically to your business, this is the most common package. If you want the business documents, the proposals to have some pre-made colors and graphics already in there ahead of time, we have hundreds of options and a number that are specifically wedding themes. You can go down to our lifestyle section and you'll see a number of wedding design themes, wedding one, two, three, four, five. These have different color schemes, they have different graphics, for example, our Wedding One design uses more of a blue design with some rings and box graphics. We will be illustrating this video using our Wedding Five design. This has a photo design theme. So any of our proposal packs will work. So you only pick a proposal pack based on the visual design. So say you've made your purchase, you've downloaded your product. There's a number of ways to get started building your documents. If you're on a Mac or you're not using our wizard software, you can go straight into the proposal kit folder and you'll see a number of pre-assembled documents already made up for things like business plans, proposals, a short services contract, quote, etc. The start here or open proposal pack that's the same as if you're using the, this red icon. So this is the same on Mac and Windows. To get to those pre-assembled documents, you can click here. To go to the samples and find a wedding planner sample, you can find that in the samples. We'll just show you a pre-made business proposal template in the Wedding 5 design theme. So this is a pre-made document. You can just start typing right into the text, fill in your pricing and company information and so on. Now, a lot of people are gonna to wanna to custom build documents more tailored specifically to what they're doing and possibly incorporate uh, sample content from our wedding samples. You'll want to do that through the Word for Windows Wizard add-in. So the rest of the demo is going to be showing you through the wizard. So if you have the wizard installed, you'll run that. And whichever design theme you purchased will be your default design theme. It may be the any business, it could be an elegant design, it could be one of our other designs uh, could be one of our wedding designs. They'll all work. So we've loaded this demo with our Wedding 5 design theme. And this demo is going to assume you've already done the basic setup steps. So each time you're going to create a document, whether it's a business proposal, a business plan, or whatever, you go into button number two, Document Projects. Say so Add New Project. You'll give it a title. You know, a lot of times you'll use the customer's name as the title. 
and we'll want to pick the documents for this proposal or a business plan or whatever it is. The first screen will show you just common templates you can select. Cover letter, title page, executive summary, cost summary, company history. Those are fairly common. Now, we've pre-made a lot of lists for different kinds of proposals that you can get started with. So you can go over to the quick start, click the search import list button, and type the word wedding. And this will narrow the hundreds of options down to ones that are wedding specific lists we've created. So you see there's a florist, a wedding photography and videography services, and a wedding planner services proposal. If you click one of those, it will show you a list of all the chapters that are going to be built in. Now our lists have usually a lot more templates than you're going to need, but it'll give you more things to think about that you can actually trim down to a shorter proposal. Now if I want to see a sample of an actually completed proposal, we have one of those as well. You can go into this View Samples tab, search the hundreds of samples for, say, something related to wedding. And you'll see there's a wedding planner services sample. I can click that. If you click the View Selected Acrobat PDF sample, You'll see the sample. Every sample shows you the list of chapters that were selected for this sample. The design theme. In this case, it's a Wedding 1 design theme. Uh, we're going to be using the Wedding 5 to build the documents. And as you scroll down, you'll see the sample actually has filled in material. Now our wizard has the ability to let you create your own version of all of these samples in the design theme. So we're going to show you how to recreate a editable word version of this wedding planner sample and we'll put it into the wedding five design theme. How we do that is we've ha once we select a sample, we can click the Import Content from Selected Sample button. That will load our project with all the same chapters that that person used in that sample. Now, 21 pages is going to be an awful long proposal for most services. This is just designed to give you a lot of ideas and content to start with, and you might want to trim that down. Not every wedding planner sample is going to need a security page, for example. And you can combine some of these pages together and get it down to a shorter proposal. Most proposals are actually in the 5 to 10 page range. We're going to build the entire thing here. Now, if we do want to remove templates, you know, we can use the Remove Templates tab and remove some pages. If, say, we've removed some pages, but we want to add some additional chapters that we might not see here, you have thousands of pages you can add. You can click over to Add Templates, scroll down through these categories, and you can find all sorts of things you can potentially add if you need. Once we're done selecting all of our chapters, we just click, say, OK, use selected templates. The other two screens are the company data and client data. The company data is going to be your name and address information. Client data, you'll fill that in with the name and address of your client. That will get merged into the document. So we filled this in. We'll just say, wedding planner services 
as the title. When we finished inputting our data, selecting our templates, and we're ready to build the Word document, you just say OK, save project, and build documents. Say yes. Now we just wait for the wizard to create the document. What the wizard is doing now is it's taking all of those chapters we selected, it is merging in the name and address information, it's applying any customizations, and it's building a single Word document assembled from all the chapters. Now that the wizard has built the document, we'll open it. And you'll see, you know, the name and address information we put in the client data screen is here. The actual text from that PDF sample that used to be in the wedding one design theme has now been imported into this wedding five design theme. You'll see the title we gave it in the client data screen is here. You can see the text from that PDF sample is all now editable word text imported into this design theme. You'll see tags that were in the editable sample text have been replaced. This is an example of how to use tags to customize the text of a proposal. And we can just scroll down to all the pages. Now you can start deleting pages out of this if you don't want any of these. It's just word processing using your word processor right now to make changes to this. You, know, you can fill in your own line items and prices. You can fill in the work order. Services provided. So that's basically how you build a wedding related document using a specific design theme for any kind of situation. So now you can go back and use those same steps to create anything from a business plan to a partnership pitch proposal to selling products. It's the same steps. The only difference is which chapters you pick and maybe which sample content you import. So once the wizard has generated a document, all you have to do is basic word processing to finish tweaking the text. Now you see some of the elements of a proposal in the ordering. You'll see we have introduction, chapters first. After the introduction chapters, you talk about your clients, the client's needs, and the needs of the project. Usually financial chapters will come later. And you put the chapters that talk about you and yourself last. Say the company history or about us, your testimonials, references, your staff, policies, and so on. So now you know how to generate a document for any situation where you pick a specific design theme and the kind of proposal or project or pitch you need, select some chapters, build a document, and then you finish your editing in Word. For final delivery, you can click a save as PDF and then send your client the finished PDF. So now we've created a PDF version. PDFs are what you want to send your clients. So you'll notice in the PDF, the full colors are now, have now come out. So we could print this or we can email it to a client. That's the basic process for creating any document in the wizard for any kind of situation. Click subscribe to keep up on the latest proposal writing tips with Proposal Kit.